Nintendo has now officially revealed all of the new weapons and kits which will be added within the Sizzle Season 2024 update. So I thought it'd be a good idea to compile every single one of those within one video so you can see exactly what is new. We honestly have some incredible new kits this season which is really exciting, some of the best we have seen in a really long time, so I'm excited to share all of these. Let's jump right into this. Starting us off, we have the Wellstring V, which is a new weapon with this update, and it is confirmed that it'll have Auto Bomb and Ultra Stamp. Now, I definitely see some decent uses for this one, although I'm personally not a huge fan of Ultra Stamp. Ultra Stamp definitely could do with some balance improvements, in my opinion, and they did fix a lot of the bugs recently with it, which was good, but there's still some work to do. So I'm not a huge fan of this kit, and personally, I don't really use Stringers very much myself, but I'm hoping that players will still be able to get use out of it. I do really like the Auto Bomb as a sub-weapon, so I feel like that one actually does work quite well. Next, we have the Custom Wellstring V, which will have Point Sensor and Wave Breaker. This one just really isn't that good, in my opinion. Wave Breaker just really needs some improvements in terms of balance, and then this could actually be a pretty decent kit, honestly. I've never been a huge fan of Point Sensor myself. I really do not like Point Sensor, though. I just have to say that. So personally, I would have gone with a different sub-weapon for this, but that's what we're working with here with the custom Wellstring V. It's definitely very interesting to get a kit for this new weapon in the same update. It very much does confirm what a lot of people have worried about, that this will most likely be the final update, at least the final major new content update anyways. But in a sense, it is good to get the second kit right away. It just gets things out of the way, and it means we don't have to wait an extra three months just to be disappointed by this custom Wellstring V kit. Now we're moving on to the next two new weapons, we have the Mint Decavitator which has just been added, this is a new type of Splatana, and it'll have Suction Bomb and Big Bubbler. So, uh, I don't know how to feel about this one honestly, Suction Bomb does feel like a really good choice for it, Big Bubbler could be decent, I personally actually like this special weapon quite a lot, even though I know it is not one of the most popular in the game, but I'm not really sure this is going to have a ton of uses. It feels like this kit is trying to do two different things here, be offensive and defensive at the same time. And you'll see what I mean when I share the particular kit that has been added for this new weapon as well. So I'm not a huge fan of it. Now for the alternative kit, which is the Charcoal Decavitator, we have Splash Wall and Inkjet. And as you can see, Splash Wall probably should have gone on the Mint, and Suction Bomb should have gone on the Charcoal. So we should have had Suction Bomb and Inkjet, which would have made this so OP. Don't get me wrong, I still feel like this is going to be a really decent one. I feel like Inkjet, it's great to see it. We hadn't seen Inkjet in quite a while, honestly. So it's good news that we can get a new kit with Inkjet on it. But yeah, I would have much rather seen the Suction Bomb on this one. It would have just been so, so great. I just wish they could have swapped the two of those around, but hey, I feel like it's still a pretty good kit anyways, and probably quite a few people are going to be using this one, especially the charcoal throughout the new season. Moving on, we have the Bamboozler 14 Mark II, which has Fizzy Bomb and Super Chump. Now, I've actually seen quite a few people say that this is much better than I originally assessed in my video, and I can kind of see where people are coming from. I've never really personally loved Fizzy Bomb, so perhaps that is why I didn't assess it so well, kind of my own bias. But yeah, I'm glad that people are really looking forward to this kit. It's good to see even more exciting kits added for people, just with the past updates having so much disappointment. So I really hope you'll all enjoy using this Bamboozler 14 Mark II. Next, we have the Recycled Brella Mark II, which will have Toxic Mist and Triple Splashdown. And this one seems pretty good to me, honestly. Again, this is one that I've seen a lot of disappointment for, but I feel like this is actually pretty good. Maybe the sub-weapon lets it down a little bit more, you know, Toxic Mist, I don't know. Perhaps if this one had had Fizzy Bomb, that would have gotten people a little bit more excited. But I don't know, I actually quite like the sound of this Brella. I think it sounds pretty good. Triple Splashdown is definitely one of the more powerful specials in the game, so this is a great one. I think maybe if they had added Splat Bomb to this instead, it would have just been so OP. And then I think people wouldn't have any complaints about it at all, but... You know what, I'll take half and half with this one. Still getting triple splashdown is good, but yeah, maybe something other than Toxic Mist would have been a bit more ideal for the Recycled Brella 24 Mark II. 
Interesting that we're already seeing new kits as well for weapons that were literally just added in the last update. So yeah, they really are finishing up with all of these kits as soon as they possibly can this time around. Next, we have the Heavy Edit Splatling Nouveau, which will have Splat Bomb and Crab Tank. This is so, so exciting. Really, really great to see. Crab Tank on a weapon. It's been ages, I feel like. Maybe we got one in the last update. I'm not too sure now, but either way, it's rare that we see Crab Tank added to things since Nintendo has done so much to nerf them. But yeah, this is really great. This Heavy Edit Splatling is going to see so, so much use throughout the new update, and that is great news for people. Like I said, there have been some really amazing kits within this new update. A lot that, you know, different types of players are really going to enjoy, which is fantastic. I mean, I might be disappointed in some of them, but that doesn't mean other players aren't going to absolutely love them. And I can see why everyone would be excited about this heavy edit splatling just as I am. So yeah, great to see it with the Splat Bomb and Crab Tank. That's going to be very, very powerful. We also have the Custom Range Blaster with Splat Bomb and Kraken Royale. Once again, an absolutely amazing kit. I think people did know for quite a while what this one was going to have, but yeah, this is really great. I love seeing Kraken Royale added to some new kits. It is a really, really good special in my opinion. It did get a slight nerf in the last update. I don't think it was anything super significant though, so it won't really affect this. But yeah, this is a fantastic kit to see within the new update, and I really love this one. On to the final two, we have the Custom Dowels of Julie's FF, which will have Burst Bomb and Triple Ink Strike. What a kit, this is incredible. Once again, we have an absolutely amazing kit being added within the Sizzle season. They just can't stop, they're just adding so many good ones. I cannot wait to use this. This will probably become my new main weapon overall. This is probably what I will use just going ahead from now on. It's great, it's so good. I'm so, so excited about this one. Great to see Dowser Julie's get such a great kit. Finally, we have the Custom Hydra Splatling, which has Ink Mine and Splatter Color Screen. Now, I'm not a huge fan personally of Spatter Color Screen. It is not one of my favorite specials in the game, but I feel like this is a pretty decent kit for people that people will enjoy. I know there's a lot of you who really enjoy using the Spatter Color Screen, so I hope for you, you'll like this one a lot. But yeah, I wouldn't call this the most exciting kit out of the entire update, especially not compared to some of the last three that I just shared. But still, I hope people will get some enjoyment out of it. Interestingly, Nintendo actually messed up on their North America account and said that this would have point sensor as the sub. But I want to confirm to you, this is completely inaccurate. Please don't go sharing this information around and saying that it has point sensor, it does not. We know from the Japanese translation that it does have ink mine. So don't worry, it does not have point sensor, it is not true. You can forget about it. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this look at all of the new kits and weapons within the Sizzle Season update. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more.